Hey, thanks for joining me. This is a trout bit and gear review. I wanna show you how I store fly rods in my vehicle. This is the Smith Creek Rod Rack. And uh, here we go. So for me, there's really no better way to store a fly rod in a vehicle. Uh, I bought this Smith Creek rod rack uh, a few years ago and I've been using it ever since. I guess I used to do what a lot of people do is just kind of lay the rod in the back and hope nothing bad happens. Uh, but when I started having kids and had a dog back there, I knew that wasn't gonna work. So to store the fly rod, I love just putting it right up here in this rod rack. The Smith Creek products are always really solid. So this rod rack is really the perfect solution for me. I can store up to seven fly rods. Uh, they're really secure when they're attached. Uh, they don't bounce up and down, even when you're driving on back roads, and they just never fall out. Um, here's, how, here's how they come out. This bungee just kind of slides over, and I got my fly rod. So I should mention, um, I split my rod in two for transport. Let me get this out and I'll show you. I've been doing this for a long time, since I was a kid. We did a full video on this, splitting the rod, and uh, I'll, leave a, I'll leave a link up there. I get the rod, I take it apart, and uh, everything's all rigged. Everything's all rigged. I don't have to re-rig anything or tie any knots. I put it together, and I'm ready to go. This is my night fishing rod. I'm ready for fishing tonight. There we go. Right, and that's how I do it. People don't believe me until they see it, how quickly you can do this. And here's how I take it down. Again, full video uh, on the channel on how to do this. Reel this in like that and we're solid. And then I just bind the two pieces together. Like that, and I'm ready to store it again. So I'd much rather do things this way than having the rods on the top of my vehicle. Rod racks are great if that's your thing, fantastic if that works for you. I like having them in the vehicle and uh, ready to go. So here's the strap, comes with two of these. Uh, seven mounting points, so seven shock cords, they call them shock cords, they're little, little bungees, they go through the grommet and tighten up to hold the rod. Then of course at the ends are uh, buckles on either side to mount uh, into the vehicle, and these are adjustable. It's a really solid strap. All right, so here's how you attach the Smith Creek rod rack. Uh, mount it to your vehicle. It's a very versatile system, uh, very adaptable to whatever you got going on. If you have a forerunner, you really have the perfect solution. Let me show you these eye bolts. So I took out the regular bolt here, and I just screwed in an eye bolt. Carabiner to the strap, just works great. So another way to mount it is with these suction cups. Uh, works really well, they do really stick very well. Um, if you don't have something like those eye bolts or some place to attach it, especially in the back, you almost always have these back windows and they go on just like this. You're gonna push it on there and it's already pretty solid and then you're gonna put those flaps down and then it really suctions. I mean, it is, it's solid. I'm moving my truck by, <laughs> I'm rocking the truck by. All right, so of course there's a second strap here to hold the, fly, the front of the fly rods. Uh, this just mounts really well uh, to one of these handles. Most vehicles have these, but you'll find your way to attach it uh, right here, right here. Again, it's adjustable uh, by way of the buckles. Another thing to point out, you could take the rods through these loops right here. You could secure them with the shock cords. I don't do that. I actually come over top of the strap. That's what works for my vehicle. Uh, again, it's an adaptable, versatile system. You'll find your way of how you want to put anchor these rods or just lay them there. So a bunch of the trout bitten guys are using these now and our friend Josh here behind the camera sort of drilled into the interior and mounted it that way. Uh, our friend Austin did something really similar. 
All right, there you go. This really is the best way to store fishing rods for me. You can try to make something like this yourself, um, but this design is really flawless. I, I use it every single day. If you are interested in buying a Smith Creek rod rack, I'll leave a purchase link in the description below. All right, fish hard, friends. Thanks a lot.